sheet bend is when you have two pieces of cordage that you want to connect together but one's larger and one's smaller so you make a small loop here and if you were coming through you know just imagine making a square knot here okay so there's my square knot but a sheet bend instead of this tail running down inside you're gonna actually pull this loop up right here and watch this tail it comes through this loop this creates what they refer to as a sheet bend this can be used to tow things it's very strong it's very strong it doesn't come undone and it's easy to undo when you're done towing or whatever you're doing a sheet bend is anytime you want to connect a smaller piece of line to a larger piece of line so you'll basically take the larger piece of line you'll take the smaller one and you'll kind of do like you're gonna do a square knot and see that how I have a square knot that's not a sheet bend the sheet bend is where you take the tail out and you pop it through this little hole. You see that little hole I created? So this is a sheet bend. Creates like a little X there. And this is a very strong strong knot for towing things when you have different sizes of line connecting two pieces together. Maybe your rope wasn't long enough or something like that. Sheet bend. Okay, I'm trying to run a ridge line and I don't quite have enough cord to get around this tree. So this is a good example for using a sheet bend. Now, I'm going to use a little bit larger cord. So, again, let's tie that sheet bend. Come in round it's almost like a square knot but I'm going to come under and out what this will do is this will basically connect my cords together don't you like the contrast of colors so you can see now I have a nice tight thing and I can finish my ridge line so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, put my little slip knot up here like I always do Okay, and I'll come around this tree. I have my slip knot up here. Now I should have plenty of line because of that sheet bend to continue and finish my ridge line. See that? Right there. Now, again, let's go over and let's pull this tail through right on top of this little slip knot that I'm holding. We're going to make a little slip knot there. <laughs> My fingers don't want to grab it. There we go. So now I was able to complete my ridge line by using a sheet bend right here. And this line is under tension. Okay, so sheet bend helps save the day. Finished my ridge line with no problems. And like I mentioned, that thing's under pretty good tension. So that's a good use for a sheet bend when your cord's too short or you don't have enough to get around. Sheet bend will get you out of a pinch.